YouTube. Now, if there's any questions on this, I'll answer it and otherwise we should be done. Six minutes. Usually, yes. In fractures, sometimes we will do the distraction separately and then rest everything else can be done together. But if I am doing a deformity correction, I will program in everything in one go and it is not very difficult to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The patients get uh, in that earlier thing I had shown you, I will show you one sec. Um, there are arrows on this which point out uh, half a millimeter. So, what the patient does is, is half a millimeter and they get a chart actually. They get a chart which says on day one, this has to be turned so much, this has to be turned so much. And all patients are able to… It may be half a millimeter once a day also. But see what is happening is, if I am doing half a millimeter over here, it does not mean half, half a millimeter here. No, we, we decide, we, we say… How much we want to move it? We decide. Uh, based on the distance that uh, when, when I'm correcting a wedge, uh, if I want say 14 degrees, right? So, 14 degrees of angulation, 14 degrees of angulation will mean a wedge of how much? So, if it means a wedge of say 10 degrees, then at 1 millimeter per day, we are going to do this correction in 10 days. You take a couple of days um, longer. How cumbersome it becomes to the patient? Yeah, I'll just I'll tell you one second. <clears throat> Not very cumbersome. I mean, the the struts themselves, compared to the Elizarov, it is not very cum cumbersome. Compared to an intramedullary nail, it is cumbersome. But uh, it is not much more uh, complicated compared to the Elizabeth. Sorry? The patients are doing Yeah, yeah. We, we just teach them how to uh, do it. Uh, here. You see now, <coughs> there, are, there are various dates on this date. Um, distractor 1 is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 2, 2. So, and we found that all patients are quite uh, comfortable with, with doing that. We see them once in maybe 10 days and cross check that everything is okay. We measure it, we give them a, this stick. So, they are able to measure it themselves. Six struts, I think, is about one and a half lakhs or something. Six struts and the software. And sir, one thing, sir, this is decided by you or by the computer? This how, how much distraction to be done every day? Minus one, minus one, minus one. No, how many days? I tell it. Um, this, how many days it is to be done? I tell it. Yes, Depending on how much is the. Um, angulation, how much is the wedge? For example, see this was, this deformity was, uh, uh, this distraction would have, the wedge would have been around 20 millimeters of distraction. So, 20 millimeters at 1 millimeter per day would be 20 days. Therefore, for this particular person it was 20. Now, once I put in 20, the computer calculates how much each distractor has to be moved per day. But that distraction I have to decide. So, that is what meaning the computer is used only to control the fixator. That is that is a uh, 
big distinction. The computer is not used to correct the deformity. The computer is used to control the fixator. How to correct the deformity, you have to decide. Who is that? Huh? Automatic system, then the money will also go, I will make the system. It won't go into your account, but. It, it is it is a kind of coming, meaning I showed you the automatic uh, correction. Now the other side is, what is the deformity, what are the parameters, that also is, is uh, coming. Maybe another couple of years, that also will be, you know, full-fledged. So, how do we decide which thread is number one and number two? There is, there is a, uh, there is a nomenclature for that. In, in a, it's, there are rules for that, which is number one. It's not very difficult. Okay? We can, yeah, one question. Where? To decide the correction, <coughs> uh, you just mentioned, sir, that uh, it can be correction can be one millimeter per day, or some maybe half millimeter per day. It, no, no, it's not. It's not half millim. It's not necessarily half millimeter per day. How do we this this has a system where you can break it up into one by twentieth of a millimeter also. But what I am saying is, you want your one millimeter at the bone. So, how much the distractor will go, I can decide uh, based on the number of days. Now, this if I further want to fine tune, I can say half millimeter in the morning, half millimeter in the evening. If I want, I can say one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. But that one fourth at the distractor is not one fourth at the uh, bone. So, right now, what mostly what we do is we keep it as. Um, uncomplicated as feasible and do it in one one go. So, somewhere here you will see like two. This is two turns, but that two turns is not translating to um, two mm because when all six work together, uh, it, it, it is a different kind of, it is a complex uh, movement. So, that movement stays within the uh, not rule, but within the limits of what you have decided. If I have said 20 mm is in 20 days, then the maximum movement that can occur at the bone is 1 mm. So, sir, uh, this 20 days, what we decide like, uh, by uh, 20, uh, 20 mm uh, defect. So, can that vary or is it uh, 20 uh, mm for 20 days and only? In this particular sense. situation, for this correction, it was a 20 mm wedge would be created when you correct that deformity. So, if this was um, a narrower bone or a broader bone, it would be different. Further questions can be discussed over lunch. I thank Dr. Pariyar for a very wonderful presentation. Thank you, Dr. Shinde for sharing Thank you. Case. I request Dr. Shinde to please felicitate Dr. Parihar. Dr. Shinde, please. Thank you, sir. I request Dr. Puri to please felicitate Dr. Shinde.